Hello everybody and welcome to this video going over Ghostface's powers, perks, and add-ons as the newest killer to Dead by Daylight. There are other changes coming in this patch, but I will go over those in the patch video once everything is live and set in stone. So let's take a look at what the new killer Ghostface is bringing into Dead by Daylight. Ghostface can crouch using the secondary action button at any time. While crouched, he moves at a slower speed. So his ability does not need to be active for him to crouch. And he can still grab survivors while crouched. Now onto the ability itself. His ability is called Night Shroud. You press the power button to activate it. When activated, his terror radius disappears. Survivors will hear this sound when he activates Night Shroud. While Night Shroud is active, survivors will hear this sound emitting from him to indicate he is nearby. It gets louder the closer he is to a survivor. Now while standing, his red stain will still be visible. But if he crouches with Night Shroud active, the red stain will also disappear. Any mist or hit attack will end his ability and put Night Shroud on cooldown. While active, he can peek around corners, and you will see this icon appear when he can peek. To peek, you hold down the power button to lean and he will stalk any survivors you see. He can also stalk survivors while standing up or crouching. Each survivor has their own stalk charge. You can tell how long you stalked a survivor by looking at their profiles. A white circle appears to show their stalk progress. Their auras will also go from white to red as they get stalked. After stalking a survivor for 4 seconds, they become marked and have the exposed status applied to them. The circle around their profile will turn red when they are marked, and they will have a red aura as well. You can continue to stalk them to refresh the exposed timer. If you stop stalking a survivor, their stalk progress will regress. Survivors cannot see how much they've been stalked. They only get notified once they have been marked. Then they can see the red circle as well as the progress on it. Only the marked survivor will have the exposed effect on them. Unlike Myers, Ghostface stalking is survivor specific, as indicated by the circles that appear on their portraits. Survivors can cancel Ghostface's Night Shroud ability by looking at him for one second. Survivors only have to face their camera at Ghostface, not their actual character. And that sums up his power, now let's take a look at his perks. His three unique perks are I'm All Ears, Thrilling Tremors, and Furtive Chase. I'm All Ears says any survivors performing a rush action outside of your terror radius will have their aura revealed to you for 6 seconds. Has a cooldown of 60, 50, or 40 seconds. Thrilling Tremors. After picking up a survivor, all generators not being repaired by survivors are blocked by the entity and cannot be repaired for the next 16 seconds. Affected generators are highlighted in a white aura. Can only be triggered once every 180 or 60 seconds. And Furtive Chase. When your obsession is hooked, the perk receives a token up to a maximum of 2, 3, or 4 tokens. Each token decreases your tear radius by 4 meters while in chase. When a survivor rescues the obsession from a hook, the rescuer becomes the obsession. You lose all your tokens if the obsession is sacrificed or killed. The killer may be obsessed with only one survivor at a time. Now let's take a look at his add-ons. Outdoor Security Camera. The auras of all survivors outside of your terror radius are revealed for 4 seconds, when a marked survivor is put into a dying state. Ghost Face Caught on Tape. Tremendously increases stalking rate when leaning from cover, 
tremendously decreased stalking rate when not leaning from cover. Driver's license considerably decreases the range at which survivors can detect the killer. Drop leg knife sheath moderately increases movement speed while crouched. Night vision monocular considerably increases stalking rate, considerably increases stalking depletion rate for all survivors. Victim's detailed routine tremendously decreases the minimum distance from the killer for a survivor to trigger a detection indicator. Does not stack. Chewed pen considerably increases night shroud charge rate. Knife belt clip. Hitting a survivor while crouched for at least two seconds applies the mangled status effect. Slightly increases movement speed while crouched. Lasting perfume. Considerably decreases stock depletion rate for all survivors. Leather knife sheath. Hitting a survivor while crouched for at least two seconds applies the hemorrhage status effect. Slightly increases movement speed while crouched. Olsen's wallet. Considerably increases movement speed while stalking. Marked map. Moderately decreases the minimum distance from the killer for a survivor to trigger a detection indicator. Does not stack. Olsen's address book. Moderately increases night shroud charge rate. Olsen's journal. Moderately increases movement speed while stalking. Reusable cinch straps. Slightly increases movement speed while crouched. Telephoto lens. Slightly increases stalking rate. Slightly increases stalking depletion rate for all survivors. Cheap cologne. Slightly decreases stock depletion rate for all survivors. Headline cutouts. Slightly increases movement speed while stalking. Walleye's matchbook. Slightly increases night shroud charge rate. Philly. Instantly refills the night shroud power gauge every time a generator is completed. And those are all of Ghostface's add-ons. And that sums up the newest killer to Dead by Daylight, Ghostface. I hope you found this video informative and thank you very much for watching. Let me know what you think of this new killer in the comments below, if you think his power is cool or if you like any of his perks. As always, good luck out there in the fog, and I'll see you next time.